how can we ensure that the good deeds that we do are free from the impurities of pride, vanity, jealousy, self-conceit, pretense and hypocrisy? Alhamdulillah, uh, if a person is actually doing the, the, the in our course uh, of Tariqat al-Muhammadiyah, there is actually a whole system, uh, a, a process in which sincerity is developed. So from uh, doing it for the pleasure Allah SWT, for salvation akhirah, then from doing it for Allah SWT alone, etc, etc. When you work on this, when you, these are actually dealt with, from the offset a person is given sincerity level sheet, but then as you get to the third stage, then these things about vanity and all these and things and humbleness and tawaz and all these things will be dealt on the third stage. So a person, all they should do is try their best is at the beginning, make again, our teachers, what they've done is that they've always simplified things. Is that simply at the beginning is that when you're doing something, ponder and reflect at the beginning and middle of the end that whom am I doing it for? I'm doing and then refresh that. I'm doing it for the sake of Allah SWT, for His pleasure, for His sake, for reward in the Akhirah. That is how a person simply at the first level, that's how they actually go about. And there are different levels and different, uh, there are about eight or ten different levels that you can do on this uh, sincerity sheet as well. So if a person just starts with this, this helps remove all these. For example, then you know that I'm not doing it for myself. Okay, that's it. So, uh, secondly, with this question, how do I know I can be free? Well, if you do the sheet, then you'll actually easily go you go through that process. Secondly, is that you leave that matter to the teacher. You leave that matter to the mentor. Let them deal with it. You do whatever level you're assigned to. You carry that out. You tick the box and then you go and relay that to your mentor or to your teacher. And they will actually then assess. Let them do that. And many times what seekers are doing is that and probably we are guilty of doing it ourselves when we are also travelers in the path is that we start to interpret and we start to start to think well I, I and start actually making decisions upon ourselves or oh, I didn't do it like this or oh, I think I have this or oh, I have this and start putting crosses and start putting all these different things leave that no but if you feel if there's certain feeling that you have keep it if in fact discuss it with your mentor discuss with the teacher I feel as I am getting this I feel as I'm getting that discuss that if you need to, if it's really bothering you but the level you're at the level you're at if it's the first stage or the second stage or the third stage whichever the fourth stage whatever level you're at you concentrate on that sometimes the thing the question you're asking for example about vanity and all these conceits self-likeness maybe these things will be dealt with in the third stage and you're only on the first stage so one should actually then concentrate on the level they're at and slowly, slowly progress because this will be like it's like a, a a furnacing process where bit by bit, unpeeling, you'll be unraveled and peeled and cleansed with each stage as you go through. So, in short, is that if you want sincerity, do it at the beginning, middle, and end. That I'm doing for the sake of Allah for His pleasure and reward in the Akhirah. Khalas. That will that will be this. This is a, you've you've rectified it at the beginning, the middle, at the end. You try to put it, do it all the way through. And remind yourself, Alhamdulillah, that's it. Uh, you can only be held accountable for that. The other hidden aspect, if they manifest, we'll deal with it in a later stage, inshallah, on the, of the course.